Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Wednesday. Okay guys, so I don't know if you caught our Vanderpump Rules recap with our girls from Access Hollywood. We had so much fun. So definitely go be a part of the replay crew. But this one, um, it's a little bit different. So um, we're going to get into it. Now before we do, Go ahead, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Go ahead and show some love. And also, um, we're doing a giveaway. I don't know if you guys heard about this, but it's worth about $700. So check it out and stay tuned till the end of this video. That way you can figure out how you can win. Let's jump right in. Do it. Okay, guys. So we're going to start here with this um, Bo Deedle of it all. This one was wild to me. I'm not going to lie. So thank you to Reality Blur, but Louis Ruelas and his private investigator, Bo Deedle, are now facing a new lawsuit that accuses them of allegedly illegally hacking computers to launch a harassment and abuse campaign against Vanessa Reiser, who is Louis's former fiance. Now, in the lawsuit that was filed Monday by a group of lawyers, Louie and the investigator, who was accused of investigating the Real Housewives of New Jersey cast on Louie's behalf, this was back in season 13, are said to have gained access to private information on Louie's former partner, who was not mentioned by name in this case. Now, according to the court documents obtained by page 6 on February 13, Louis and Bo and others illegally hacked computers with criminal, reckless, malicious, fraudulent intent um, devised to defraud the plaintiffs and also hide their own misdeeds. So the lawyers, including Kevin Johnson, who confirmed Vanessa's identity to the Daily Beast, also accused them of using subterfuge which I've never heard this word, dissemination and other fraudulent pretexts to back up their alleged harassment and abuse campaign against Louis' ex. They took files, both private and professional, in mass from those computers illegally accessed by the same as what the lawsuit says. Louis, Bo, and their supposed co-conspirators are being accused of violating the Federal Wiretap Act the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act, and the New Jersey Wiretapping and Electronic Surveillance Control Act, and they're being sued for damages. Oh, shit. Okay. Now, back in October of this year, Vanessa's request for a permanent restraining order against Louis was denied after Kevin testified for her in court. The plaintiff previously testified under oath in court regarding his own conduct in this matter and was found to be not credible by the trial judge is what an insider claimed. Now the court also found that the plaintiff had a bizarre obsession with the real housewives of New Jersey. This is clearly an extension of that obsession. And the court previously found that neither Bo Deedle or Louis Ruelas did anything wrong. This is beyond frivolous and will ultimately be dismissed by a court. Now, it was a source that was connected to Bo that also spoke out about the lawsuit, saying that Bo can't wait to see the evidence that this confused individual has to prove any of what he alleges, and you have a better shot of seeing the tooth fairy, but won't because neither exists. Ugh. This is beyond frivolous and will ultimately be dismissed by a court, is what the insider said. Wow. Okay. Now, after this all came out, just to be clear, Louis Ruelas shared a cryptic message about his tribe before being sued for allegedly harassing his ex. So thank you to Page Six. He was sharing inspirational quotes just hours before it was revealed that he was sued for allegedly hacking the computers in order to harass and abuse his ex fiance Vanessa Riser. Be the energy you want to attract. Your vibe attracts your tribe. That was the cryptic post that he put on his Instagram on Tuesday morning. But later that day, page six obtained court documents that alleged that Louis and private investigator Bo Deedle hacked into computers to dig up dirt on Vanessa. Now, the pair are being sued by a group of lawyers who claim the duo illegally accessed sensitive information in their system and though his ex was not named in the lawsuit one of the plaintiffs kevin johnson confirmed to the daily beast that the individual in question was vanessa 
The New York-based attorneys who filed the lawsuit claimed that Louis and Bo and their counsel sought out information with criminal, reckless, malicious, and fraudulent intent. Um, uh, they went on to accuse Louis and Bo of doing all of this, saying that they took files, both private and professional. Wow. Okay. Well, that's not the only thing. I mean, I know that we are constantly talking about legal over here when it comes to the housewives. And it looks like we have, still on the East Coast, but just a different monster. It looks like we have a little bit more to talk about because this time it has nothing to do with the Real Housewives of New Jersey, but everything to do with Real Housewives of Miami star Lisa Hochstein and her estranged husband, Lenny. Thank you to Radar Online. They said, not so fast. Real Housewives of Miami star Lisa Hochstein demands ex-Lenny's lawyer be disqualified ahead of divorce trial over alleged conflict. Real Housewives of Miami star Lisa demanded her estranged husband, Lenny, be ordered to find a new lawyer claiming his lawyer possesses confidential information about her. So according to court documents obtained by Radar, the Bravo star asked a Miami court judge to disqualify Lenny's lawyer, Lauren E. Berkeley, from the firm Daniels, Rodriguez, Berkeley, Daniels, and Cruz. Hmm. That's a mouthful. The Florida-based plastic surgeon filed for divorce from Lisa in May of 2022, but she claimed that she was blindsided by Lisa's or Lenny's decision, and the exes have been fighting in court ever since. So on top of the divorce, Lenny filed a defamation lawsuit against Lisa, and he accused her of falsely accusing him of abuse on social media. Now, she denied the claims and asked the court to dismiss his lawsuit, but they have been close to settling the divorce for over a year per their prenup, which Lisa asked the court to throw out, said Lisa would be paid $1.5 million if the marriage lasted 10 years. She would be paid another $200,000 for every year after the decade mark. And Lisa and Lenny were married for 13 years. At one point in the divorce, the judge ordered Lenny to pay Lisa $8,000 per month in temporary support. And in addition, Lenny agreed to pay Lisa $17,000 per month to contribute to her $32,000 a month apartment. As RadarOnline.com first reported in September of 2023, Lenny accused Lisa of virtually emptying the $10 million mansion that they shared when she moved out into her own place. Wife not only removed furnishings such as beds, dressers, tables, and chairs, but also removed everyday household items including kitchenware, cookware, utensils, even pillows, blankets, bedsheets, and duvets and comforters, along with pictures, picture frames, and even trash cans. Mm. Lenny accused Lisa of having shockingly removed virtually all of the items from the home, leaving it an almost empty state. Um, okay. But recently, Lenny asked the court to set a trial date. He said the outstanding issues in the divorce include a parenting plan and the distribution of the furniture and art and housewares. Lenny said that he believed the trial would last two days. But around the same time, Lenny's new lawyer filed paperwork in the case and in her newly filed response lisa demanded that lenny's attorney be disqualified immediately she said that there is a distinct conflict of interest with mr berkeley representing the husband in the instant matter given mr berkeley's history of having represented the wife in past legal proceedings lisa th said that she asked the lawyer to voluntarily withdraw but he refused now the reality star's lawyer explained during the party's intact marriage of nearly 13 years, Mr. Berkeley represented the husband and wife separately and together in dozens of matters. And he added, in fact, Mr. Berkeley represented the wife as both an agent and an attorney on many occasions, including but not limited to contract negotiations, acting as an agent for wife's business ventures, drafting the wife's will, defending the wife in lawsuit, representing the wife at deposition, suing individuals on behalf of the wife, and many other personal business matters. Lisa said that she believed that Berkeley would use information relating to his past representation against her in the upcoming trial, and Lenny has yet to respond to the motion. Oh, okay. I mean, honestly, I can see where she's coming from because that is a conflict of interest, but I want to hear what you guys think, especially about all of this, even the Bo Deedle and Louis Ruelas. Do you think Louis and Bo are guilty of something in this situation? Or do you think that um, it's just another sham of a lawsuit? Now, guys, I'm going to go ahead and 
ask you to go and answer this, not only in the comments below, but go to anywhere you get your podcast, click on Up and Adam, scroll down, drop a rating, and let us know what you think. Do you believe Bo and Louie, or do you believe Vanessa Riser? Do you agree with Lisa, or do you agree with Lenny? I have questions. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Smash that like button, show some love, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.